Day 83, it's a big challenge. You're going to get your blog and engine code from day 77 and adapt it so it has custom themes. So step one is to go and get all your code from day 77, your blogging engine. That included having template HTML files, or at least one of them did. What I'd like you to do is add new get requests for it. If I pass it the variable theme and a name, I can change the theme to one of two different themes at least. Those themes should be different in color, at least to differentiate them, but you could go to town and make them really, really fancy if you wanted to. If I don't give any get parameters, I would want the system to default theme and not change anything. One little hint for this one is within those square brackets for methods, you can give more than one method at the same time. It's just a list. So if you wanted both get and post, you would do square brackets, get, comma, post, and it would deal with both of them at the same time. If you want support on this, you've got three places to go. You can join me live and ask me how I'd solve it every other Wednesday on Replit 101 and Coding Helpline. If async is more your flavor, we've got ask.replit.com and the 100 days section there where you can post your question that can be asked by a community member. Or if Discord is more your cup of tea, pop on there for some amazing people who can show you the best way to answer your question in the 100 days of code channel. When you're done, publish it on community and share it with the hashtag replit 100 days of code so we can see exactly what cool stuff you've been getting up to. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at how we can incorporate RepLDB to store information about our users. And because it's a client server model now, that database can be shared with all of our users at the same time. It's really cool, I promise.